you know, not ninety nine percent of the things on the job you necessarily don't want to do, or, or they're not part of your job description. You know, they're just things that are required of you, and you do those things. But when it comes to the truth, when it comes to the work and the labor of your how about shit, how shot, because that's whom, whom it's all about. There's always rebuttals. There's always scenarios on. No, nah, I want to do that. Mm -mm. Oh no, nah, I don't feel comfortable with that. Oh no, nah, that's not me. You want to be your own person in this truth when you're prisoners of hope. But you abide by every stricken law, procedure, and protocol on the workforce. When the Heavenly Father is the one that gives you the job, He's the one that gives you the means of survival. He's the one who gives you your daily bread. And that's why through the Spirit, people get called out. They get called out. And then they look at it like, I'm going to say my peace. You know? Enough is enough. I've endured long enough of you niggas talking about me. And that's the spirit of a woman, man. Because when you're wrong, you're wrong. When you're right, it's going to be known. But to sum it all up, the pride of life is what brings conviction in the spirit. So whether you're not doing the things that you're supposed to do, whether you did something you slipped up with, slipped up with it, whether the Heavenly Father is getting you for something that was done in the past, the present, whatever the case may be. It don't matter if you're doing righteously within the five minutes of an accusation coming. It doesn't matter if you've been doing the so-called right thing within the past week. You know? At the end of the day, when, when rebuke cometh, when exhortation cometh, when a brother pull you to the side or when a brother op or rebuke you openly, you know? Stop letting that pride get in the midst of, of you feeling some type of way. Well, you should have came to me, you did blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. Sometimes it don't work out like that. Sometimes it don't work out like that. But at the end of the day, is that man righteous? Is that man a man of Yahweh Bashim Shah? If you believe that wholeheartedly, then you should just take heed and just shut the hell up. Simply put, you don't have to write a book. You don't have to write a, a, a chapter long comment. You don't have to do a response video. Do what you're supposed to do. Just do, what, do what's required of you, both in the spirit and both carnally. So in the spirit, we got the things that are required of us in the spirit. And then men upon earth, we're all in the flesh. So on the carnal side, when things are asked of you and required of you, simply do those things. So if you need to check in, just check in. You need to follow up, follow up. You need to call, call. Because anything outside of that, anything outside of that is outside the procedure, outside the protocol, and outside the boundaries. And that's when you get convicted and attacked in the spirit. Because it's something you're not doing. It's something you are not doing. Till next time, say Shalom.